Hi, I'm Earl Gavendakal and I'm an animator and a faculty member of Malayan Colleges Mindanao. I'm invited here to answer some questions and to explain the concept of animation to someone with little to no knowledge. Uh, animation in the simplest definition is imitation of reality with exaggeration. So we have this saying that a picture is worth a thousand words. So imagine making that picture move. So you're telling a story the best way. Hi, I'm Ashley Nicole Busalia and I am a third year chemical engineering student from Malayan Colleges, Mindanao. If I were to rate my knowledge of animation from 1 to 10, it will be around 5. Hi sir, how are you doing? Lumalaban. How about you? How about your online classes? Okay pa naman sir. <laughs> Lumalaban din. So today, I have actually prepared a series of questions for you to answer. And syempre, they're all about animation. So to start with, um, ako, I've actually tried creating an animation before. So that leads me to my first question. Does being a good animator require having excellent drawing skills? Um, not really necessarily because there's a lot of marketable and successful animations na um, very simple like for example Puff Puff Girls, Spongebob, The Simpsons. There's actually very simple in terms of the structure. So it's more of how you present the characters and how you tell the story. As long as the character is interesting, likable, hateable depending on their um, role and then ano, appealing sila sa audience. Um, the quality of the drawing is not really necessarily important. But Rikao, do you do actually um, draw? No, sir. Honestly, no. My drawing skills are... Mm. Pero I would agree with you, sir, when you said na, ano, um, it, it's all about the story or the plot. Because I personally like Powerpuff Girls. And then, um, I also believe, sir, na you create your own, like your own original characters. So, how do you go about creating your own characters? Uh, there's no universal process because art in general is subjective so it depends on the artistic process and choices of individuals. But for me personally, I have two stages or two sources of how I create my um, characters. The first one is the script or story base. So for example, diba, if you're reading a book, the characters are described by the author like the color of the hair, how they look and whatnot. Um, if your script is solid and then you have a solid description of the character, use that as a reference, and then um, translate that to a visual a character design. So that's a script or story base. And the second one is the, I personally call it doodle base, where you just start doing some character and then ask yourself a question like, how, uh, what would it look like if my friend siya? What would the world would look like? Um, what if meron siyang girlfriend or boyfriend? So you're building a story by asking yourself questions based on that simple doodle. So yan yung script based or story based and then doodle based na character designs. So for ano naman sir, for beginners, what animation software tools or materials would you recommend for those who are just starting out like me? Softwares are very expensive, especially licenses. So start with the free ones. For example, start ka pa lang sa pag draw or animate. Go with the mobile devices or mobile apps na free like Flip a Clip. So at least have a feel kung ano yung flow ng animation. And then after that, go with softwares na open source or like free. Like for example, Krita. Krita, imagine Photoshop but you can animate. So uh, Krita handles both digital painting, illustration, and then animation. It's open source so it's free. However, it's only available for desktop or computer lang. So if nasa phone ka, hindi mo siya magamit. Pero it's a good start. Do not invest on expensive uh, softwares or tools if you're beginning because of course, baka ma-discover ma, it's not really for you. So you wasted your money for that um, tools na hindi mo rin naman magagamit. Uh, do you see that animation is something that adults can watch too or is it still targeted towards children? Animation does not limit the age. It's, the demographic is very wide. There's a lot of adult-focused films like Big Mouth, Bojack Horse, Marami pang films, uh, Simpsons and Family Guy. There's a lot of films, I uh, shows na focused for adult. And I think animation in general is open for everyone. I personally watch, for example, Dora the Explorer. I sometimes watch it every now and then for the sake of entertainment. So I think there's no age limit to what you watch. But of course, meron tayong rating na Attack on Titans is not uh, suitable for, let's say, young kids kasi the scenes are very for adult, for adult only. Parang ganon.
animation 2D or 3D will never out, uh, go out of style. So from films to short films, uh, independent uh, animations, advertisements, and even school modules and lessons are all animations na. So there's a lot of opportunities for animators, independent or companies for this type of field. Especially now na the generation is focused on the technology and virtual na from game development. So anything na my animation in general would require animators. Um, so, it depends on the FPS or the frame rate of your output. So, meron tayong 12 FPS, 24 FPS, or 30 FPS. But in general, the number of frames run from 7,000 to 15,000 to finish a short animation. Understanding of ano, physics is very important because you're going to animate moving objects and then understanding how things work. Most of the animators are also engineers, sound design artists, designer, hairstylists because they would design the clothes and the, the characters itself. So you are a designer, creator in general. And then understanding in physics because of course you have to animate. So if you're animating animals, you have to study a lot of animals and the anatomy of animals that you're going to animate. So yes. Yeah. Um, for me personally, I like the idea of comics, Filipino comics adapted as an animation, especially in a very international and big platform like Netflix. Pero as far as I know, I do hope that the season 2 would feature more Filipino animators. Uh, Good question. There's a lot of, I think there's a lot of Filipino animators and content creators in YouTube. However, their demographic is focused on international. So, hindi nyo alam na Filipino pala sila because they are using English as a language and the, the way of presenting their animation is very focused on the international audience. But uh, Rocket Ship, uh, the creator of Saving Sally and Hayop Ka, meron silang YouTube channel that you can actually subscribe. And magpromote na ako. I actually started my own small um, YouTube channel. I just started it so wala pa siyang content but you can check it out. Maganda ko. Ganda siya lang. <laughs> Char lang. For yes. Sharing contents that you see online, especially on Facebook, you see posts of either illustrations or short animations that you see and you know the Filipino artist you share. And always start with your local friends or like common friends. If you have animator friends or artist friends, support them. Like their posts, um, follow their pages, share their posts, comment every now and then. That great small engagement to their pages would help have a bigger platform. So start with your local artists and local friends Now you know they grow sila in general in the international market. That's the end of it. I do hope that you learned something and I do hope that you are inspired and um, interest na mag venture out to animation or at least um, discover animators and artists uh, locally in the Philippines. I do hope that you learned something. How about you, Ash? Ash, did you learn anything? Hopefully. Yes, naman, sir. So um, I have actually learned a lot. Actually, I believe my knowledge rating went from five to seven. <laughs> to be fair, it's fair to say it's seven because I still haven't applied what I've learned. So hopefully soon I can apply all my learnings from this discussion. So thank you very much, sir. Stay tuned for the next episode of The Deep Dive only here at Malayan Kajas Mindanao.